folks, I'm Steve Jubb. I'm a professional astrologer with over 30 years consultative experience based in Bath, UK. And these are my astrological forecasts for April 2014, the month that changes everything. Enjoy. And this is the global horoscope for April 2014. I've been waiting for this one for decades. This is the time where I believe a large number of fundamental changes in the structure of human life planet-wide are going to be seen in the future to have started. This month is trigger time. There's going to be a number of developments which are going to radically alter our long-term perception of the future. The ongoing Uranus-Pluto square, which has been around for three or four years and will be around for another one or two, is now entering its final peak of activity. And the opposition to Pluto and square to Uranus from Jupiter that's been around since August, September of 2013 through to the current time is also now at its peak of activity. This T-square that's been around since January is now entering its final phase and it's coming to the attention of Mars moving retrograde in Libra and entering the Grand Cross pattern at the end of this month. But before we get there, there's a couple of other very big astrological significant developments. One which falls outside the remit of this forecast but is so big that it must be mentioned. And that is the Aries new moon of last month on March the 30th, just two days ago if you're watching this at the start of the month. Which is such a significator and a transit of big, big change opportunities. Whether that change is in a fixed and rigid, more disruptive, chaotic, dramatic and unpredictable way, in which case it's going to be militaristic and it's going to be conflict and it's going to get nasty. Or change in terms of novelty and stimulus and innovation where it's going to be much more people driven and individuals driven rather than combines or corporates or, or militaristic. And the jury's out on which way this is going to go. I'm recording this about a few days before that new moon. In the middle of the month also, we do have a total eclipse. Now, in the prelude to the Grand Cross, there's successive waves of astrological intensity getting stronger and stronger, which developed during January, especially the start of January 2014, and then gradually crash more and more on the beaches as we get into February and especially the end of March. And as we move into April, it's full on. The roller coaster is engaged, it's, it's still accelerating, but it's already looping the loop and getting faster. Mercury moves into Aries on April the 8th and it leaves on the 23rd, suggesting that this two week period in the middle of Aries is where there's going to be the greatest level of A, interaction, communication, movement, and B, the biggest level of headless chicken, panic, disorder, and, um, um, incisive actions and in the middle of this two-week period is April the 15th there is a total eclipse of the moon taking place just after sunrise in the UK on the morning of the 15th taking place just after sunset I imagine on the other side of the world and Although this eclipsed moon doesn't significantly affect the aspect, the Grand Cross pattern, the fact that it's in Libra, fairly close to retrograde Mars, and it's a total eclipse, is not a positive omen for the world. And it does seem that this points to further, because it's in Libra, discord, disagreement and fragmentation whether it be Middle East, Ukraine, Eastern Europe. Boy, am I looking at North Korea and China. 
it does seem that this month is going to be the most extreme period of this year in terms of risk, in terms of danger. It's a, a very explosive month. And I do expect a number of sudden militaristic or and economic stroke financial stroke political developments and decisions which are going to change a lot of futures. It's going to be done by necessity, not desire. The games are shifting, folks, and you can either choose to see this as something to be scared of, to be worried about, or you can see it as a game changer where you can get out there and you can actually improve the future for yourselves and for everyone else. And I am seeing now, as a lot of people, I'm seeing it as a time of opportunity for fresh starts and new beginnings and to break free of the power structures that have had an almost slave-like hold over our consciousness over the last two, three hundred years. It's time for a revolution of consciousness. It's time for some type of new game plan in the way that society is structured, that is not driven by profit or greed, and that is driven by an idea of community benefit, where we genuinely look after the people who can't look after themselves, where there is proper, affordable and potentially free medical health care for everyone, where there is a respect for the environment, where there is a desire to nurture the old for their wisdom as much as the young for their vibrancy, and where there is the desire for humanity to live with each other equally, regardless of gender, religion, age or colour, because if these things aren't a part of our future, we're screwed. And this month is going to go a long, long way to dictating the long-term future for this planet. From an astrological level, this is it. This is the crunch time that's been brewing for many, many years. You have to make decisions now based on how, on integrity and dignity and your conscience. And if you can ride these waves, if you can grasp this energy that's flowing, and it's not a nice, gentle sine wave. It's jagged and electrical. You can't control it. You can't ride it. You can hitch a ride. You can surf a bit of it. And if you can do that, you can find novelty, stimulus, innovation, fresh beginnings. This is a time to live a little bit dangerously, to take a few chances, to begin again. What have you got to lose? This is the Grand Cross. This is it. You can't run away, you can't hide, so go and ride it, go and have fun. If the earth were my patient now, if the earth were my client, I'd be saying, look, you've been waiting for this one for the last 25, 30 years. Enjoy the ride. There you go, folks. I hope that was informative, helpful, and perhaps fun as well, even though these are really crazy times that we're living in. A big thank you to all of those people in recent months who have pushed that donate button and helped me because the funds that come in through that donate button, they just about cover the costs of this video. And this is about getting astrology out to the world for free. So thank you, and please keep it coming. Um, and um, yeah, Steve Judd Astrology on YouTube, it seems to be taking off. Thank you to all those people who are subscribed. It seems to be going up something like 20% a month at the moment. Catch you next month, survive this month, and we're through the worst of this year. Bye.